Hello, welcome to today's episode of Cook and Chat with the Bellas. I am your host, Funke Bella, aka Mrs. Fabulous, aka Fabulous Funky, the one and only wife of MC Tunde Bella. Welcome to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, welcome! <laughs> And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you. 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 Thank you so much for coming back. Right. So I know you're admiring my dress already. I know. I get it. I know. I love it too. But if you want one of these made, this was specially made for me by my fruitful fingers and i'm sure if you're not new on this channel you already know who that is my fruitful fingers i'll leave a link in the description box how you can get one made for you like this or any other similar outfit and i'll also link leave a link in the description box to our etsy page where you can purchase ready-made outfits perfect for any occasion or perfect for just lounging in the house right ladies and gentlemen on today's episode of cook and chat with the bellas i had to bring a very special guest in ladies and gentlemen if you know me well you know that on sundays i do one thing and one thing only after church i go to my parents house and eat what amala begiri and a wedu on a sunday afternoon this is it this is me don't go looking for me anywhere on a sunday this is where i'm going to be so today i thought we might as well bring the queen herself to come and show us all how to make begiri who else doesn't want to learn how to make begiri i only go there to eat the begiri i don't make the begiri in my house so it's about time i learn how to make begiri too So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, aunties and uncles, neighbors, everyone, jam your hands together and welcome with me into the Bella's kitchen, mother dearest, the queen of the clan herself, my sweet mother, jam your hands together for mommy. <laughs> Hello mommy. Hello my dear, how are you? <laughs> Good. Good see you. <laughs> thank you for coming on the program mommy thank you so much <laughs> so mommy for those that haven't met you can you please introduce yourself to our beautiful audience hello everybody nice to see you to see you nice <laughs> <laughs> to see you nice uh, my name is being Dowu. um that's all i can say really <laughs> For now, <laughs> maybe as time goes on, we'll talk. I'll, I'll tell more. you a little bit about her. <laughs> so this is my mother, Bingpei Do, and she is a wife. She is a mom. She is a grandmother. She is a practicing professional. She is a pharmacist. Yes, and she is. Mommy, shall I tell them your age? Because I bet they won't believe. You're not 51 or 52. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, she is not a young lady. She's just pretty, but she's advanced in years. She's a mature old lady. Oh, we thank God for you. Mommy, thank you so much for everything you've done for all of us all these years. But one thing remaineth. I cannot cook bagiri. <laughs> hmm? That's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, I've got Mother Dearest in the kitchen today and she's going to show us all how to make our beloved begiri. Begiri is a dish from the southern part of Nigeria. Mommy, stop me if I'm going AWOL. Southern part of Nigeria and it's a beans based stew used to eat amala combined with a wedu. Can I get an amen in the comment section below, <laughs> brothers and sisters? Are you with me? Are you with me? 
Anyway, that's the short summary of what begiri is. And mommy will just run us through the ingredients we need to make the perfect begiri that you can make in your house. You don't have to go to any booker anywhere. You can make this at home. Mommy, take yes. it away. Um, I will not start with the beans. Mm. I'll start with the peppers because it's a stew. So for any stew you have a typical southwest western part of nigeria and the mm. southern but the western part of nigeria these are the basic ingredients for a stew you gym. need some red bell peppers we've got two different types of bell of peppers is this called? this one's called sweet pepper i think but okay. let's just call it, it adds pepper. flavor yeah and then some scotch favorite scotch, scotch bonnet, bonnet. Yeah. i've mm. we've chosen opted for one today because we like the children grandchildren to eat um these foods and if it's too hot they you know will what eat they're it. gonna say and they're gonna say is fire. really mm. rich in protein yeah we we like to encourage them to eat food rich yeah. in protein and rich then in anything <laughs> i've got some onions the onion here is for the stew I, I, i'm not sure you can ever have too much of onions in anything i don't think so onions good for you yeah especially mm. if you are trying to avoid all these others artificial seasonings mm. onions is always something to add a little bit extra of to make sure that your food has a nice taste mm. so that's that this is called locust beans mm. yuru in yoruba mm. it's it's fermented um beans mm. so it's also rich in protein and it, it's a natural flavoring agent that is traditional yeah. to that part of the world mm. well we just thought we'd have a have few <laughs> a few cubes of my may or may not minimum use it. yeah minimum yeah. um begiri's red is a red kind of stew so palm oil is the traditional oil the vehicle that's used to cook the stew and palm oil is essential yes it has to be palm oil you begiri has to be red and it's made from with palm oil you can't really substitute i guess you could you could but you know but the traditional the yeah the traditional yeah. begiri stew need, need some palm oil mm -hmm. depending on how healthy you want to be you can reduce or increase um or the what you want here yeah, so it's all variable mm -hmm. we got some um crayfish yeah we, you all know i love my crayfish and so does mom crayfish we love is crayfish. good for you whether mm -hmm. it's like this or whether it's, it's milled or whatever shape or the larger red ones that's protein and taste it yeah. gives you this peculiar taste that yeah you really i don't want think here. it uh, will be the same without without, crayfish. without lots of crazy at least i know mm. that taste and i don't know the process <laughs> but i know <laughs> uh, there you go there the you secret go. is out there you go so of course with there'll be a bit of salt, salt in it and we've chopped this um onion because when we get to the beans we'll be adding onions to cook it mm. now to the beans now to the beans so begiri is a beans based um stew. stew what you do is you need to peel the beans so you could either start <laughs> with the beans and peel it from scratch in which case you need to soak it in in warm water for at least 20 minutes and when it's a bit softer back in the day we used to have to squeeze it yeah and rub it with our hands to lower the, the we the, get the, the skin, skin comes off. off you can still do that if you love if you if you feel if like it's good time. exercise for you <laughs> and you got the energy but you could also put it in your blender with lots of water and swirl it around a few times that will break the skin and then you can finish it off with your hands in the sink mm. or or thank god for peeled beans thank god for peeled beans so <laughs> thank god 2020, for peeled beans. we're going you to put could this over get there. some peeled beans yeah we put that yeah, away for put that over there. <laughs> i'm not peeling any beans today <laughs> or we could just buy some peeled beans from the african shop and we will still also need to soak it in warm water for about 20 minutes just because um it's peeled with a machine but sometimes you still have some few bits left and i remember how much trouble you could get into oh yeah if you didn't um, god rest grandma so if there was one <laughs> was little skin black, left, left on that beans. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so i still 
soak it in warm, warm water. water for about 20 minutes to give it time for the skin to separate from the beans because the bean swells and so the skin comes off and then you we just rub it off, it off clean it so yeah. what we're gonna do now is we're gonna soak this in warm water, warm water. we've got some warm water here for 20 minutes mm -hmm. and then we'll and then we'll peel peel right yep okay so mommy our beans has been yeah. soaking for about half an hour or so you yeah. know so it's time for us to wash the beans so the skin is already pretty much come off already but we we just wash it just to make sure there's no single skin <laughs> left not otherwise one. grandma will not be happy <laughs> Okay, so mommy, our uh, beans are now clean and they're in a pot ready to to cook. Yes, so now we're going to add some water to the beans to help it cook. And mommy, you were saying earlier that you could cook this in a yeah, pressure pot you can, if you have yeah. one. So I think a pressure pot is a better option. Faster option to Quicker to, to, to get mm. this done quick because we're, we're aiming to cook the beans till it's mushy. Mushy, mushy. Very soft. You think I know how to cook begiri, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm purely a practice <laughs> of begiri cooking. <laughs> so we add uh, water, add some onions, like I said earlier. You can never have too much you of can onions never have in too much I onions. love my onions. Yeah. So add the onions and then, um, and then a dash of oil. Okay. Just so that you can cover the pot and leave it because otherwise it starts to boil over. boil over and then you have to turn the but you still need to simmer it as soon as it starts to boil so that you just don't waste your electricity or your gas. Mm. But if you put a dash of oil in the water, it reduces it the boiling out. Yes. Right. I didn't want to go into any physics <laughs> about surface <laughs> tension <laughs> and all that. So put and some then. oil, cover it, turn the heat on. As soon as it starts to boil, reduce your heat and we'll leave it there. This might take, in an ordinary pot, it might take up to an hour, depending on the quantity of, of beans. the beans. Mm. In, a pressure, in a pressure pot, probably at least 30 minutes mm. to get that soft, mushy, mushy, proper, yes, yeah. right, beggy <laughs> starts. Beggy starts. All right. Yes. So, so while that is, is cooking, cooking, we're gonna prepare the peppers and the locust beans. Okay. I don't like my beans whole. I love the flavor. Mm. Remind me to tell you about my experience with locust beans. <laughs> <laughs> I think they want to hear it now. <laughs> oh, when I first, you know how um, we love our locust beans in vegetables and yeah, there's everything. no vegetable soup without yeah, mm. how you really enjoy mm. it. So. About a couple of years when we first arrived, I cooked this vegetable stew. Oh, it was yummy. I, I really was proud of myself. <laughs> and so I thought, oh, going to work out, but make some on, on uh, rice. Uh, 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 so I put my uh, rice in my uh, bowl and put my vegetable stew, lots of it, because I really wanted, it was being greedy. I put vegetable stew and then I put some red stew, covered it. So lunchtime, I put my bowl in the microwave oven and I heated it up. At work? Yes, at work. What on earth is that? <laughs> you, oh, you know, you can imagine dirty sauce, <laughs> rotten egg. Oh, they gave me all sorts of things. They start comparing oh. locust beans with all sorts. Oh, they say, what are you eating? <laughs> what on earth is this? Your Proper food is delicacy. Off. If only they oh, knew. They ruined my day. <laughs> I was looking forward to, you know, relaxing for 40 minutes, but I just quickly gobbled it up. <laughs> <laughs> Before anyone else came in. <laughs> so, um, Never take your stew that contains iru to work 
just eat or heat it and then put it in a flask. Don't you ever put it in a microwave. <laughs> well, that reminds me. That is why we've also got our Tiwi's mm. home fragrance candle here. So no matter how much iru we cook up in this kitchen, no matter how much fragranced cultural food we cook up in this kitchen, the house will still be smelling fresh nice and fruity so thanks to tiwi's home fragrance so yeah. i'll leave a link in the description box how you can get your tiwi's home fragrance so um, we're going to blend the iru first and then add the peppers because the iru takes a longer time for me i, I like it smooth, smooth. so i, like I blend it, it to my smooth taste and then add the peppers because yes. peppers don't take long mm -hmm. you know to blend and then We'll be right back. Okay, so mommy, the beans is cooking over there on the other burner. And while that's happening, we thought we'll carry on with the rest of the begiri and start to make the sauce, isn't it, mommy? Yes, yes. Okay. So um, this is a blend of the peppers and the locust beans, the iru, mm -hmm. ready to start cooking. Okay. So what um, we're going to do next is we'll put the, uh, put the oil in first just to melt it so, um, I'm gonna add one cube of Maggi and some salt um, a little bit of salt yeah we can always um, add more salt we'll if check we check the taste to. later so oh. we'll leave that to Cook for about 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And um, the, the beans, beans is cooking. It's cooking. And yes. we're getting there. We're getting there yes. with our begiri. But mommy, while the sauce is cooking and the beans is cooking over there, mommy, we need your advice. We need your help. Ladies uh -oh. and gentlemen out there, uh -oh. <laughs> please put in the comment section below if some advice from somebody that has been married for over 40 years will benefit you i know it would benefit me mommy and daddy have been married for over 40 years they've been together actually for 46 years look looking at that number of years already is just making my heart go you have definitely done something right tell us maybe just two things that can help couples five years or ten years you know not leaving at the newlyweds and the, the ones in courtship the five and the tens and the 15 years in marriage tell us one thing yes one thing or two or three or four <laughs> <laughs> we'll get mommy going now we'll be here all night <laughs> i think well two let's let's narrow it down to two one is that marriage i think both of you and i mean the man and the woman in this case i'm not sure about other situations but for the man and the woman you need to know in your heart in your knower that you are in it for the long haul mm -hmm. and that you are in it to win so once you hold that, they used to say hold it in your left hand. Otherwise, if you hold it with your le right hand, you, you wash it, it away. Eat amala. Or use it to eat amala. <laughs> yeah. So hold that thought in your left hand that you are in it for the long or mm. in it to win it. If that's not the situation, don't even go there. Mm. Second what? equally important piece of advice today, as I'm feeling today is... You need to talk about every single thing. Carry each other along. Mm. Whatever the situation is. Otherwise, very, very gradually, you start moving apart and that's the beginning of the crack. Mm. So, and listen, don't trivialize your spouse's um, comments mm. or heartfelt comments. Don't trivialize it, even if this sounds so silly. Mm. but just listen and help your partner to deal with manage with resolve that issue you know otherwise your partner will stop 
confiding with you, you will stop being your partner's soulmate. Mm. And that's the beginning of mm. trouble. So ladies and gentlemen, we've heard it from mommy. We need to keep it together like this. We don't want to gradually go like this. It makes a lot of sense because uh, 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 tiny cracks allow the lizard. <laughs> I didn't know that's where you were going. <laughs> I wondered why you Please, was... somebody <laughs> leave in the comment section yeah, below yeah, an adage yeah. that is suitable, suitable. for this. Yeah. <laughs> At least, agree to bala along by the water. That's what yeah. it means in Yoruba. If there's no crack, there's no. Mm. If there's no gap, there's mm. no space for mm. problems to come in. So yeah. keep it together. Yeah. Don't don't leave any tiny gap to let mm. the devil come in. Mm. So yeah, thank you so much, mommy. And one keep... more, quick, quick. Sorry, uh, uh, one more, for one mommy. more. <laughs> is just remember that your spouse is a human being is not a god don't defy or think that your hus your husband or your wife is supernatural can meet every need can solve every problem knows it you know what is it all knowing mm. only god is all knowing, only god you is know. All knowing. so you just can't say mm. He, did, he, he didn't even see. Can't he see that mm. I'm feeling like you have to mm. say it? Yeah. Say it. Mm. Can't he? Can't, can't she? she? Yeah. Don't let me be accused of. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. it is true though. Mm. We we tend to assume a lot of things, but mm. you should have. But why didn't you yeah. see it? You should didn't have noticed. You? Yeah, yeah. But if it hurts you that much, why don't you tell him mm. or her? Mm. You know, it would save you a whole deal of mm. heartache. And when you tell him or her, you don't say, uh uh, that's not even important. Why are you just being trivial? Yeah. yeah. So don't do that. It's important to sit them for them to say it to say yeah. out to you. Yeah. Talk about it. Right. We'll hold those here so we don't use it to eat amala and begiri <laughs> <laughs> with the right hand. So thank you so much, uh, mommy. Let's let's check on our sauce should be, just should to be. make sure before we okay. Mm. It's looking good. Yeah. What do you think? It's nearly looking like begiru. Mm -hmm. It's not quite there yet. <laughs> yeah, these are the beans. Um, <clears throat> I think it should be ready to because it's still gonna cook. Okay, so we can turn the we've I've turned the heat down a bit. Mm. So we've cooked the beans. It's nice and soft. When I was growing up. Not when I was even your age, when I was growing up, what we would then do is get a sieve and sc scoop by scoop, push the soft beans through the sieve, mm. and that's how we would get our paste. Mm. But thank God for thank blenders. Thank God for blenders. <laughs> thank God for technology. Thank God for technology. I am <laughs> always for a kitchen gadget. Anything that makes your life that little bit easier in the kitchen, you should just go for it. Yes. So thank God we don't have to push the cooked beans through a sieve. <laughs> see. Thank God we can just toss it in a blender and yes. go. Great. So, so that's, that's what, what we're, we're doing gonna, next. Yes. But then you might. It might have a better taste if it goes no through thanks. the sea. No, 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 no. So our beans is cooked. Um, we've, we've achieved this mushy beans consistency. And we're going to start blending now. Um, we've let the beans cool, cool down, down a bit. Yeah because you really should not be blending anything hot. that's boiling hot otherwise it would explode can, yeah and we don't be, want that that would be an incident mm -hmm. i'm going to add half of the crayfish crayfish so that it's not whole um, bits like this when you are eating your bakery. And that's all you need so that you have a, a soup consistency. A soup consistency. 
There you go, my son. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let me just stir this so that um, I can add the first batch. Just do so the okay. honors, please. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll blend the remaining beans. Yes. Okay. Okay, so mommy, the, we blended all the beans with the uh, crayfish and we've now tossed them in with the sauce we were cooking earlier. So mommy, what do we do next yes, to this? Yes, so I can see now. Ah. Have a look, have a peep. Whoa. Have a peep. It's looking like beggary. You have a peep. <laughs> so it's looking like beggary, so is it tasting? Like beggary. Is it tasting like beggary? Back in the day, we never used to taste, but because you were expected to know the How ingredients be you need to put. But nowadays, you taste <laughs> <laughs> about half of it. So are you ready to do the honors, yes. please? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It tastes like my Greek. <laughs> you know the story about the wife mm. who was tasting the stew till uh, they finish. The, uh -huh. Till the stew finished. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. You need to leave some for people. May to... I not be the wife that tasted the <laughs> stew till you finished it? What do you think? Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Yeah. So we'll put the lid on. So put the lid on and leave it to cook for just another. Five ten minutes mm -hmm. and while on that, medium heat. While that's cooking, I'm going to make <sighs> some amala for this dish because the best thing to eat begiri with is amala and just put a little bit of ewedu beside it. That's it. Case okay. closed. Before? But before I go and make the amala, mommy. Oh. We okay. just wanted to talk a little bit about professionalism, career. Give us a little bit of a mini career talk, please, mommy. Since we've got you here <laughs> and you've been a pharmacist for over Oof. 45 years, <laughs> of course, you would have one or two <laughs> things to tell us. Some of us are professionals, some of us are business people. You would have one or two mm. hints for us, please, mommy. Um, I think the important thing is you need to follow your heart and not what you think you should be doing okay, okay. don't um, insist on being I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to mention any profession so mm. that I don't um, step into on anybody's toes yeah yeah but don't whatever you are happy doing is what will work for you mm. so and if you are caught to do this kind of profession and then you go into another profession you might not really get the best out of it that's one way of looking at it the other way of looking at it is whatever profession or career or skill that you have make it yours mm. you know make it yours so that you can enjoy it that because i i doubt if there's a perfect career career for anybody but it's what you make of what you've got so you know, whatever. whether you're a pharmacist yeah. a radiographer yeah. a fashion designer yeah. <laughs> or an it consultant a techie guru uh, make it your mm, own and think outside own. the box as yeah, well Look, yeah you yeah, know yeah. it's it's a big wide world out there now yeah, so a radiographer yeah. doesn't necessarily just yeah. have to x-ray bones we can run youtube channels too so <laughs> <laughs> think outside yeah. the box you know yeah. make yeah. it your own yeah. be happy in whatever yeah. it is you choose to yeah. do make yeah. sure it's what you want to do yeah. gone are the days where they want you to be engineer doctor lawyer or accountant yeah. now you do what you want to do yeah and you make be it what yours. you want to be Person and you that yeah bespoke you yeah and <laughs> yeah. then you you succeed more in life yeah, like that yeah yeah, yeah. great yeah. advice great advice ladies yeah. and gentlemen great advice so whether you're 20 years down the line in your career your chosen profession you can still make it your own you mm. can still or you can tweak it and you can start mm. again yeah. if you've been yeah. a I'd, nurse for 20 I'd years but now actually you'd rather be a youtuber it's so easy to be a, a blogger or <laughs> uh, you know a media personnel mm. 
whatever it is you want to do that will make you tick yeah. that will make you yeah. happy is that thing you you have to yeah. just do you and be happy yeah. that's be happy. the most important thing yeah. right yeah. let's have a quick look at the beggary yeah. before um, yeah it's it's looking good now i'm gonna go quickly and make the amala while mommy is checking on the beggary by the next time you're seeing me it is with a complete plate of beggary amala and iwedu ladies and gentlemen stay tuned you will soon see it nearly nearly ready i'm telling you nearly nearly i'm such a foodie man <laughs> nearly nearly ready Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying with us. We've now come to the end of this episode of Cook and Chat with the Bellas. And we had we had lovely Mother Dearest here showing us all how to make begiri. So I've served my begiri right here with amala. If you would like to see a video of how I make my amala and ewedu, I will link it here so you can watch that later. So now I've served my begiri with amala swimming in begiri, as mommy called it. <laughs> the, amala, the amala is lost in the begiri. The amala is swimming in the begiri. Just with garnish with a little bit of ewedu and with some nice orishi orishi kind of meat. So it's the kind of meat you eat sitting on the floor kind of behavior. You know, you just <laughs> relax and just don't All care. All buttons undone. All buttons undone and just sit there and eat this food, have a shower, bed. Yes. Finished. That's yes. the end. Yes. So thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. If you liked this video, please click the like button. If you like what we did, if you like mommy, what mommy did, please click the like button. If you, had, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, you do not want to miss another recipe so delicious like this yeah. and if you've got something to tell us please leave it down below in the comment section thank you so much for watching thank you mommy for coming thank you Thanks for showing for us how me. to make thank you me. so much thank you so much thank you ladies and gentlemen see you Thanks. next time God thank bless. you bye bye bye, bye. bye, -bye.